Welcome to Glitch Building for Beginners. My name is DG Squared, and we're going to start a new series. Uh, this series is based off of Glitch Building on the basic level for beginners and a lot of you builders out there who uh, just don't really know, you know, much about Glitch Building or how to accomplish, you know, a few tricks and tips to enhance your base. Today, we're going to start with the absolute basics. We're going to start with terminology. Okay, let's get started. Right, so I've got a list of parts built here on my makeshift set, and these are all the items that are uh, used as tools to manipulate other build item parts in our build menu. Um, let's get right into it here under our adornments menu under the flag heading, the cube, the pyramid, raised small paving, regular paving, and the small paving. We also use the light box, and the light floor in addition to the wall light and these are all tools that uh, are used very commonly uh, by glitch builders um, for manipulating those parts okay so there are two main functions uh, that the controllers use uh, for glitch building in no man's sky um, for this series i'm going to um, call them by what they're called in the build menu and these buttons are usually used in conjunction with each other, um, uh, which means at the same time you'll be pressing two buttons. And uh, those two functions are the toggle wire and build part. On the PlayStation, it is the triangle and R2. In the bottom left of your screen, you'll see that I've got the Xbox equivalent. And the other function is the toggle wire and edit build. On PlayStation, it's the triangle and square. And again, I have the Xbox equivalent on the bottom left of the screen. I can't talk very much about the PC users uh, as macros are used a lot with uh, building in No Man's Sky. Um, and so those keys change based on preference of the user. Okay, let's get right into some of the terminology of the glitches. So let's get started with the reverse wire glitch. the adjacency glitch, the universal adjacency glitch, uh, otherwise known as the UAG by most builders. There is the spot glitch, the tether glitch, the blender glitch, let's uh, this down. I'm going to do two parts for this just to show you what the blender glitch is really used for quite frequently. Okay, and there's also a resize glitch. Okay, those are all the basic glitch terminology and uh, the different glitches that are used in No Man's Sky. There is two others that are used uh, that are a lot more advanced, which I'm not going to cover uh, in my series. Um, and if you guys think I should cover them, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, that is the slide glitch and the cash pin glitch. Um, for those advanced uh, glitch techniques, I highly recommend checking out another content creator by the name of Enra Silver and his link is at the top left of your screen. I highly recommend checking him out. Okay, that's uh, it for the terminology on today's episode. Thank you very much, and I hope this helps a lot of you builders enhance your build, and uh, we'll get started uh, in uh, other episodes on each and every one of these uh, glitches. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone.